All right, yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Sminify Podcast. Today we're in episode number 15. Here we are, two weeks in a row, for the first time in months. It feels great, man. It literally feels great to finally be keeping the promise of getting a, getting a podcast out every single week. And I'm going to be doing this one on solo today. Uh, recently, this past week, like a few people listened to the other podcast. They asked if they could come on a podcast eventually. And honestly, my ultimate goal with the podcast is to, yeah, just get as many people on as I can. I love having guests on. At the same time, I like doing the solo ones. But because I haven't, like, done a podcast in so long and I'm trying to get back into the swing of things, I think for now I'm just going to do a few solo ones in a row just so I can get back into, get back into you know, get, get used to it. Because I remember I had Exotic on, like, a month ago already. And that was two episodes ago. And, like, it took us a while before we could even get going because I hadn't done a podcast in so long before then. I thought I'd just be able to sit down and get rolling and, like, I stuttered. I had to restart the intro a couple times. So I think it's just better if I do a few solo ones just to just get back into the swing of things. And then I expect to start having some guests back on. So if you guys are interested in coming on the podcast, I don't know, you can leave a comment down below. You can shoot me a DM on Discord, whatever. But, yeah, I think there's quite a few people, honestly, who are who kind of want to be on the show. And I think that's a lot of fun. It's Again, it's a great way to personally relate with viewers, like, do a podcast. I don't like to keep like all my personal problems and stuff. I like to keep that out of the videos. But hey, when it comes to the podcast, everything flies. Whatever we want to talk about, we can talk about. But yo, here's the thing. It's only been it's only been a week since the last podcast. And the thing is, like, not that much changes in a week, honestly, for me. I it's kinda of hard to find new things to talk about. I feel like these things are just gonna get really really repetitive. But at the end of the day, I love doing it. So let's get a podcast every single week. So let's see where we're at. Where are we at? It's October, guys. It's it's October. It's Sunday. 11, p- 11 a.m., October 4th already. Dang. All right, so October moves, guys. The good thing about October, the big hype thing about October is, dog, we're getting into that, like, Christmas vibe. You know, recently on the Discord server, you already know it's spooky season, so we had to retheme the Discord server. We got pumpkins everywhere. We got new emojis, new emotes, and all that fun stuff. Everybody's changing their names. And by the way, guys, to everybody on the Discord server who's participating in that, you are literally the best, guys. It's, it's so fun and so refreshing to just spice things up a little bit on the Discord server. And it for sure makes it a lot more fun of a time on there. So if you guys haven't joined our Discord server, go for that. We got we got the uh, the Halloween theme currently going, and it's awesome. And you know, I just I just love that feeling of Halloween. First of all, because I got a birthday coming up. My birthday is on October 18th, which is now 14 days away. I wonder what day my is my birthday on like a Friday. I wonder if my date. I don't think it's gonna be on a Friday. But that'd be pretty cool. So obviously, I love the end of the year. It's obviously it's been a very rough year this year, but imagine if we can finish it out strong here in the last what four months, October. October, November, December. Oh, there's only three months left. Dang, there's only three months left of 2020, guys. That's crazy. Hey, the world's still here, so we're, we're still going. But yeah, guys. Uh, yo, and then we got the Thanksgiving vibe, and then we got the Christmas vibe. Yo, these are li- October, November. December. This is literally just the best setup of months ever, in my opinion. I love the end of the year. It's so much fun. We got all the best holidays in a row. And you guys already know on the Discord server, we're going to be theming all that. We're going to be we're gonna be vibing. It's going to be a great time, for sure. For sure. But yeah, um, in terms of YouTube, like how much has changed in uh in uh youtube in the last week in regards to the youtube channel i think some kind of big changes are going to be coming up soon because uh every day we inch closer to the goal of monetization on youtube and honestly guys i think this week might be the big week where i hit 4000 watch time hours which is insane to think about my friends were we were sitting in class one day there's still flies in here oh my god i was sitting in uh, class with a few of my friends and they were like Dude, 4,000 watch time hours is like 60 days. I don't know. It was a lot of days of content. And just to think that people have watched tens of days of content of, from me is incredible. As I've said always, it's a dream come true. And now the fact that I may be eventually monetized and I may be able to make a little bit of like revenue from videos, it's an incredible, incredible like dream come true. And I thank everybody who's ever like watched my content or left a like or anything. Because I said, like I said, I think this week's going to be the big week. I'm just going to, I'm going to pull it up on my computer quick. I'll just give an update where we're at with, in terms of watch time hours. So for those of you that don't know, basically, you need 4,000 hours of watch time and you need, okay, first you need 1,000 subscribers. This is to get monetization on YouTube. You need 1,000 subscribers and you also need 4,000 hours of watch time in the past year. And currently, guys, we are at, we are at 3,845 hours of watch time. And I don't even think that's updated. I really think we're at like 3,950 because guys... Oh my god, another great week of streams. Another amazing week of streams, you guys. Like, the Among Us stream, I streamed twice yesterday. I streamed another Minecraft uh, world, and I streamed Among Us. And guys, the support is just absolutely insane on the streams. Like, I couldn't ask for more. Like, we're getting, like, at least 20 people in there. I think we're averaging, like, dang near 25 now. But in some t- sometimes, I think we peaked at, like, 32 people. That is so many people. Like I say in those streams, I legit... Like, two years ago, I was just sitting playing Fortnite, streaming to nobody. And I think we've now exponentially grown to 32 viewers. Not, not Like, it's not always that many. But to about 20 to 25 viewers per stream. It's crazy growth, and it's a lot of fun. The streaming is so much fun, you guys. 
But the thing is, the past week, the videos have not been performing as good. Like, I, uh, I'm just gonna go check it out. Like, I uploaded this out. Okay, I can understand why the videos might not be doing so good. I uploaded a Modern Warfare video. I put a lot of time into it. I really tried my best on it, and uh, I actually got some feedback that people didn't really like it, which... Which, you know, I'm, I'm always down for feedback. I hate people who just, people don't like their work and they're just so quick to get offended and stuff. Dog, I'm always looking for that feedback because it's so good. Like, constructive criticism is great because it's always going to help me reshape and reform my content to uh, make it better for sure. And, uh, okay, this Modern Warfare Funny Moments video is 113 views, which, dang, 100 views will take it. It was uploaded one day ago and it's got, it's got 27 likes, which, I mean, hey, that's not bad. I'm going to be honest, guys. <laughs> I, I don't want to sound greedy. I don't want to say this, but, like, the point where my channel's out, I really, like, every time I upload a video, I'm hoping for, like, at least 50 likes, you know? So, this, see this one, I have 27. It obviously kind of underperformed in my eyes. And I really did put a lot of time into it, but, of course, it's Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare is, like, when did Modern Warfare come out? I'm just gonna look it up quick. Because I, I think it was, like, when did Modern Warfare come out? Uh, it came out August 23rd, 2019. So, we're already, oh, this game's already over a year old. By the way, Modern Warfare, like, it's a very underrated game. I don't know why a lot of people don't like it. I think, like, the gun animations and stuff are incredible. Modern Warfare was a great game. But, uh, yeah, it came out over a year ago, and I made my, like, first video on it today, which is understandable why people won't be interested in it. But, yeah, I I wonder, like, if I remake this type of video, this Modern Warfare funny moments, but I do it with the next Call of Duty with uh, Cold War, Cold War funny moments, if people will be more interested. Because, yeah, that really looking forward into the future, man. Like, I want to... I really am hoping that Call of Duty Cold War helps the channel out a lot, dude, because obviously when it's come out, it's going to be very hot in the search terms. I'm really hoping I can make some videos on it that people will enjoy, and I'm really hoping that the videos end up uh, kind of making the channel blow up, because I don't think live streams will ever make the channel blow up, but live streams will consistently bring people in. New people to the Discord server, yo, how many people are in the Discord server, you guys? The Discord server has been popping these last two weeks. It's been so much fun. Hold on, I got to check it out. I got to check it out. A special thank you to everybody who's joined the Discord server. We now have over 180 members, 181 members in there insane we're coming up on that 200 mark which you already know when we hit 200 we're gonna be going wild that's crazy guys 200 people almost in the discord server and like i said i almost thought about starting the discord server at 1k but instead i started it back at like three or four hundred such a good idea as always i gotta thank nacho for that i still barely even know how to run discord but hey we're learning as we go on we'll get it down someday but yeah for sure so i'm wondering when this next Call of Duty comes out, is it going to help out this channel as much as I'm thinking it is? Because right now, I'm currently thinking like, all right, new Call of Duty's come out. I'm going to upload a lot of videos on it. Channel's going to blow up because I, I always have this vision in my mind. Like right now, we have 1.23K subs, so many subs. I always have this vision in my mind that someday the channel's just going to blow up. I'm just going to wake up one day to like 10K more subs or something. That's always how I've seen it going for some reason. And I don't know. Um... I think that that would be the result of a video, because like I said, live streams are very consistent. We'll get like maybe up to 10 new people to hop into the world or hop into the to the channel in a live stream, and that's awesome. But like I said, man, if we get one good video that hits a search algorithm, and that could bring in thousands of more people to the channel, much more than a live stream. And honestly, that's really, I see that happening someday. I don't know why. I really do. And I hope that, I hope that happens sometime, because that would be really awesome. And for sure. But yeah, we are getting... We're getting like so close to monetization, guys, and I think that this week is going to be the big week, which is why I'm, I'm probably going to like, uh, I'm going to fix a bunch of things in the live streams. I'm going to like kind of clean the channel up a little bit, fix up all those little minor details and problems as I prepare to hopefully get monetized, and then moving forward, I could be like more professional. One thing I want to do is like start more social media uh, platform deals. Like I probably start an Instagram, start an official TikTok. I have a TikTok. But I don't like, uh, I haven't posted in there in like since like April. But yeah, like a TikTok and Instagram and Twitter, all that type of stuff. I got to get that stuff going. Because I think a big part is if you want to grow a, a YouTube channel, you should probably have a bigger social media presence on like everything else as well. Not just on YouTube. And it's something that I'm not very good at. I'm really not good at managing all that stuff. Uh, sometimes I'm busy. I haven't, like I said, I told myself a long time ago I was just going to start uploading all the videos onto TikTok that I make. And uh, yeah, that didn't work out so well. So yeah, here we are. And uh, that's one goal that I want to do. I want to like start an Instagram. By the way, I've like never even posted anything on Instagram, so I'm <laughs> I'm just a bot on there. But yeah, start an Instagram, get a TikTok going, get a Twitter. I don't know. All I use Twitter for is politics. I don't know if people really want to follow me on Twitter because all I do is go to Twitter just to go get all the updates on politics, see how stupid people are. That's about all I use Twitter for, honestly. I don't really tweet anything. I never have tweeted anything. But yeah, like I said, in in regards to politics, I will never bring politics into like videos that I make. There's no point in that. Like. We hear enough about politics throughout the world. We don't need to. We don't need to 
hear more of like no one cares what I think on politics honestly at the end of the day I hate all these like big celebrities that feel it's their their mission their job to tell people how they feel on politics like Billie Eilish I don't care that you endor- endorse Joe Biden like I don't care that the Dwayne the Rock Johnson endorses Joe Biden I do not care at all I think at the end of the day people should just make their own opinions and like not be persuaded by these big celebrities who know like absolutely nothing on politics like Cardi B interviewing Joe Biden yes that's who we need we need Cardi B but yeah it's it's weird I absolutely hate how our politics works honestly it's just so it's so stupid. Like, you can look at, in regards to the debate, it's just people taking shots at each other. Like, uh, Joe Biden calls Trump stupid, and then just Trump will say something else that's stupid. It's just, it's literally just attacking people's characters. Like, in the last debate, how much policy was discussed? Like, nothing. It should be more about policy, and not so much about attacking people's character. But unfortunately, that's where we're at in the world. It's 2020. Our politics is so messed up. And by the way, guys, obviously, like, the big news of the week is that Trump got coronavirus, which many people are going to be like, oh, karma's going to get him. He thought it was a hoax. Which, but I don't think Trump ever called the coronavirus a hoax, but you know, whatever. It's it's those people, and like, you go on Twitter, right? Twitter is literally like the worst place in the world because it's just like five second posts that people just come up with. They just type it up, and it's just it's so, they're not well throughout, well thought ideas. That's why Trump says something stupid on Twitter like every other day. But yeah, you go on Twitter and. In the announcement for Trump saying that he had coronavirus, if you go into his comments, there were, like, people casting spells on him, like, hoping he would die and stuff. And there were people who were just like, I don't want to go against my morals, but just this one time I hope that the coronavirus kills Trump. And you just, like, you have these people who are polit- who are divided politically, and just be solely based on that, they want their opponent to die. It's, like, it's so stupid, man. I can't believe how much politics has divided us. And how, I don't know about, like, some people that might not be from America watching this, but, bro, America is so divided on, like, everything. We seem to, we find a way to turn absolutely everything into an issue, especially into, like, a race issue or something. Paw Patrol's on TV. Nope, that's got to get canceled. It's terrible, man. I absolutely hate, I just hate it so much, man. It's terrible to see. Like, okay, yeah, like, you might not like Trump, but at the end of the day, do you, do you really want him to die just because you disagree with him? Like, I, this upcoming election, I really don't plan on voting for Joe Biden, but, do I really want Joe Biden to get the coronavirus and die? No, because I'm a decent human being. I'd, I'd rather not have people die. Like, whatever, man. But then some people are like, oh, it's it's the equivalent of wanting Hitler to die. Yes, Trump is Hitler. Trump is deliberately setting up concentration camps and running an operation that's killing millions. I don't know, guys. That's just my political take. I absolutely hate it. It's awful. It's absolutely terrible. But yeah, <laughs> let's we'll get away from politics here. Where are we at? All right. So let's get back into... Let's get back into... Let's just look at some analytics, honestly. All right, let's look at some analytics on the channel. We'll just see where we're at because, like I said, this upcoming week is going to be like huge for for the channel because I'm anticipating that we hit that big 4,000 hours watch time, and then that's when like that's when you go from like the YouTube channel just being a hobby to the YouTube. Oh god, that was gross. To the YouTube channel just being like a hobby to now it's becoming more of a business. Over time, I've started to see how am I going to transfer just being a hobby. It's always going to be a hobby, really. But how am I going to transfer over to that like business mindset where now like some companies might approach me wanting to advertise their product. I've had that happen once. Uh, this one company approached me. They wanted me to advertise their product in the description. And like, yeah, like how am I going to, I have to be a good businessman as well as a good YouTuber. And it's kind of a lot to handle. Right now, YouTube does take up a lot of time. Like relating back to my school, my schooling, bro, my school is like not difficult at all. These assignments they give us are not difficult. And uh, let's see, last week I was struggling in school. Am I still struggling in school? In school? I don't think it's struggling. I'm just like lazy in regards to school just because I don't get stuff done, man. I definitely have the time to get it done. But at the end of the day, I just like, I, I'm still, I'm still definitely focusing on like making a YouTube video over like getting now. I wouldn't say that. Okay. So far the grades are still more important than the YouTube channel, but like my time management is just awful. Like I'll have time. I'll have free time. I'll just sit down and go on the discord server instead of, instead of getting my homework done. So definitely one goal moving forward from right now. I want to start getting my homework done. Like I said, I've always been like the A plus student. That's always been my expectation and it's all I've ever known. And I really think if I look back here, if I don't end the semester with all A's, I'm going to be very, very disappointed in myself. And it's probably gonna be something I regret, honestly, because like, can't lie, I've been like perfection since junior high. And then I just hit my senior year and I just collapse. Usually it's people's junior year. That's the hardest. But uh, yeah, we'll see how I do. That's definitely a goal for me. And like, like talking to you guys on the Discord server, like what you guys have for schooling is a lot more difficult. You guys are like, oh, I got like five assignments a day. I'm taking notes for 10 hours. And I, my school, man, we just like sit there. We just vibe. Like we're not strict at all. We just, we just have fun, man. <laughs> which, uh, which probably isn't good. I'm probably not getting a good education, but uh it's whatever, man. Half the knowledge I learned at school is not important. But anyways, that's the schooling goals. We need to get good grades. Okay, views are up. Your channel got 10,659 views in the last 28 days. 
Now that is what we like to see, 10,000 views. And that's up 2.4K from last month. And I look at this graph, it's like every other day because here's the thing, watch time hours, we had 815 watch time hours in the last month, which is probably the most that I've ever gotten a month, honestly. That's up 337 watch time hours. Now remember guys, watch time hours are just, that's a big number. Like I, going into YouTube, you'd always think like the views, the likes are the big number. I mean, not really. When it comes down to it, it's really just like watch time, man. Like how the average watch time, because that's how you like, if people are watching more of your video, then you're going to be getting more ad ads to play and stuff. And it just, at the end of the day, it just comes down to watch time, really. So yeah, watch time is way up, which is crazy. Because if you look at this chart, it's like, because you know I stream on Saturdays and Wednesdays, so it's just kind of low. When I don't stream, the average is about, I would say maybe like eight to 12 hours of just people watching my videos without a stream. But then on days when I stream, it bumps up like right here I streamed, it went up to 95 hours. Because streams bring in a lot of watch time, honestly. Because obviously it's like 20 people watching a video for like two hours and it's crazy. But uh, yeah, and then it just drops back down to like eight to 12 hours and then I stream and it just goes up. And yesterday we actually had the most watch time I've ever had because I did two streams again. I had that Minecraft stream and I also had that Among Us stream and we had over 100 hours of watch time in one day, which I'm so grateful for. Thank you all so much. And like I said, that's just crazy. That's crazy. So the watch time is up a lot. The views are up. Like everything's just looking green. Everything's looking good here, guys. The subscribers, we gained 77 subs in the last month, which is about the same as usual, which isn't bad. I feel like I feel like the subscriber number could be higher. Like way back in my day, I actually was bringing in a lot more subs, but like not saying I'm not happy where I'm at, but I definitely think I could be bringing in more than 77 subs per month currently. So I mean, all these numbers are great, man. The channel is just looking so good right now. I've gotten back into uploading basically every day. I try to I'll skip a day here and there. I don't think I'm going to upload tomorrow just because I don't have a video ready. But uh, yeah, I'm getting back into the swing of things. And even the fact that I'm starting school now and I'm still in the swing of things makes it even better because that means that I've handled one problem. How am I going to handle school and YouTube? I'm obviously still, still struggling with it a little bit in the sense that uh, there's a fly flying around and I want to kill him. In the sense that uh, I'm kind of struggling with school right now. But uh at the end of the day, I see myself pulling through with my studies and getting all A's, honestly. Like, we'll kick in here if we need to, but yeah. I always think I have so much time and I procrastinate. Like I said, guys, I'm literally the worst procrastinator ever. Like, I'm recording this podcast on Sunday at 11, 18 a.m. I was going to record it last night after the stream again, but I was like, do I really want to record another one at, like, 11 p.m.? I think I'm a lot better, a lot more energized. When you're, when you're energized, you have energy, as Chucky once said. I think I'm a lot more energized when it's earlier in the day, and, yo, it's currently 11, 18 a.m., and I look at this, uh, honestly, I look at my webcam and I really don't like the lighting. What what BX said is to get a ring light right here so it just flashes like light into my face because you can see like the shadows right here and stuff. If that was, if I had a ring light right here, it would actually like light up my face and stuff, you know? And I just think the lighting in my room is not very good. Also, the face cam I think could be improved upon a little bit. I think if I was to invest in something, the first things I'd want to invest in are probably a new PC because like this laptop is great. But like in terms of recording videos, I can't, it doesn't record in good quality. Sometimes it's laggy. If you guys watched the uh, Call of Duty reveal event, I couldn't watch it full screen. Otherwise it lagged. I had to watch it in theater mode, which by the way, that video didn't perform as well. But that I, there were no edits in that video. So that's fine. I, I can't, I gotta be happy with that. Uh, but yeah, so I think a ring light, a PC and a face camera, some things I need to invest in. Like I said, this blue snowball microphone, this blue snowball microphone is actually like what's 50, 60, 70 dollars, which, which is relatively cheap for a microphone. And it's honestly, it really gets the job done. It's awesome. I couldn't have, I mean, I probably could have picked a better mic, but like in terms of price, I think the blue microphone is, or blue snowball is one of the best, dude. And I've had it for a long time now and it's still getting the job done. I think it sounds very, very good. So there's that. That's kind of like what I want to update in terms of, of the setup. So yeah, a ring light, a new face cam, like a Logitech. I brought, I bought the off-brand face cam. I don't really know why I did that, but, but I did. So yeah, uh, I forgot what I was talking about there, but let's go to, let's go to, Let's see, do we have, should I go to like my top videos, dude? Okay, so top videos. I'll just do it on my phone. The top videos of, oh, I like it. Oh yeah, spooky, god damn. I love the, I love the Discord server so much. Yeah, it's, I can't get over that. It's so much fun. But anyways, uh, top videos. Okay, so, like I said, let's, let's take a look at it. So my top video right now is, ooh, how to easily link nether portals. Like, I knew that one was on top, but what I'm, but what I'm ooing about is that it now has 8,000 views. And that's how YouTube works, guys. Some videos are just going to hit the YouTube search algorithm, and some are. Some aren't. This how to link nether portals video did hit the search algorithm. And I'm going to see if there are any new comments to respond to. Which, by the way, guys, responding to comments is, like, the best thing ever. Nope, there are no comments to respond to, so we're good there. 
Yeah, like this Minecraft story video obviously hit the search algorithm. People are looking up how to link the other portals. And luckily for me, my video is showing up. And now it has 356 likes and 8,000 views. And like, I do check how this video is doing every couple days. And it's still consistently getting like sometimes 100 views a day, which is insane for a video that's three months old. And it has overwhelming support, 356 likes and five dislikes. People in the comments are saying that I helped them out. And that's just awesome to hear, guys, honestly. Which is, again, if we go to our second video... We have two simple vertical double piston extenders, so another Minecraft tutorial video. And that's what I'm saying, man. If you make videos like this, you're going to hit the search algorithm eventually. This was uploaded five months ago. I think this one still gets a few views a day, not as many as the uh, the Nether Portal one. But hey, it's, people are saying that it helped them, so that's awesome. Because again, at the end of the day, I just want to help people, man, with this YouTube channel. Like, I tell you guys during the streams, if you got problems, if you need somebody to talk to, DM me on, on Discord. I seriously mean that. Because like, I feel like... I just like to be that voice that people, if people want to get their problems off, I'm like, I just try to be chill. I don't get mad at people if they say stuff. I take, I think it takes a lot to get me mad just because like in my eyes, man, life's just too short to get upset and just get frustrated over absolutely everything. So I just, I just, I'm just chill, man. I just like, I wouldn't say I don't care, but like my parents are like, oh, you just don't care about anything. It's not that. I just, I just like to stay chill. You know, like life is just too short to be worrying about all this stuff. So man, if you guys need somebody to talk to, DM me on Discord uh and yeah yeah we'll be chilling we'll be chilling for sure like some other, like a person the other day just told me they're very stressed out I, I was just like they said they weren't good at anything i was like all right well what are you interested in they were like law enforcement i'm interested in making games turns out they made a game on law enforcement i was like look at that you're great at that so just pursue that do that you're awesome and it's just a lot of fun to just tell people out with their problems honestly and it's also nice to know that if i ever have a problem i could go to you guys and talk about it probably if you guys care i don't know somebody will care i could find somebody to talk to and that's awesome to always have that person to talk to so I'm fortunate enough to have you guys, and if you guys need someone to talk to, go for it. DM me on Discord. Spoonie zero five eight numbers pound sign. I said pound sign. Hashtag seven eight nine or something. I don't know what my number is. It's in the description. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, guys, uh, that's where we're at. And then under that we have another Minecraft tour. Yeah, it's just Minecraft tour videos all the way down. And we're pretty good. Yo, but like vlogs, guys. All right, vlogs. I know you guys want that fridge tour coming. Which, by the way, it's gonna come out. I have an idea for it in a vlog. Which is why I say it'll be out before the end of the year. Now, I know that's a long time. For those of you who don't know, basically in this one video, uh, Duke and a guy from the UK actually was requesting that I do a fridge tour. That I basically just go through the foods in my refrigerator upstairs. And uh, he was requesting that. He was very set on getting me to do that. And I said, if this video gets 70 likes, we can do that. Sure enough, it has 71 likes. So now I'm going to have to do that someday. And I don't think it's going to be soon. It'll be before the end of the year just because I have to get... I'm planning to do it in two vlogs. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try to... Ooh, this next week... Ooh, okay, here we go. This next week, I'm going to be very busy in regards to uh, in, in regards to work. So I'm going to be going to school, I'm going to be farming, and I'm going to be uploading YouTube videos. How am I going to handle adversity? Because uh, I think I'm going to make a farm vlog. I think that's going to be the next vlog, guys. Just a, a little life, a day in the life on the farm. Because that could be something interesting to a lot of people. Because some people uh, probably who watch my videos like might be from like New York or something. I don't know. Not big farmers. And I think that could be interesting content to a lot of people. And the thing is, I love editing videos because I can, I feel like I can make like almost anything interesting, you know, like, like a video of watching paint dry. I can like add some edits or something. I just love the power of editing. I can make it cool. I can make it enjoyable probably like maybe not 10 minutes. Like for me, I've always loved the short style content. Obviously that's the most fun to me. I hate watching these videos where it's just like people plug in their stuff for like three minutes and then it's them walking around in a game for like 10 minutes and it's just it's really long drawn out content just so they can put more than one ad ad on it and if if and when i ever start making money i'm gonna try to stay to my roots and stay the same like i could i'm sure i'll be tempted to like be a sellout let's just make 10 minute videos so i can put more ads on it let's just take all the sponsorship deals even if i don't use their product I'm going to try to stay the same. I'm going to try to not have money change me, which is what the Smith plays, a guy whose podcast I listened to for a lot of years. He was like, money changes every YouTuber. And I still don't really know what he means by that. And I'm interested to, uh, if I ever start making money, we'll see what that means. Like for me, honestly, if I ever started making money, I would see it changing me in the sense that uh, that I'd be more motivated to make videos, honestly. Yeah. But like the way he said it, he made it sound like it was for like the worst. And I guess we'll see. We'll see eventually. Hopefully. I'm like hoping so much that, that I get it monetized. It's... Like I said, it's such a big goal. It's like such a big goal and it's crazy. And again, like it's the first step from taking the YouTube channel as a hobby to more of like a business. And it's crazy. And it, like I said, it's just been so enjoyable. Like if I did not have this YouTube channel right now, dude, I feel like I would be, I feel like I would be, I don't know where I actually couldn't even imagine. Like, I don't know where I'd be then. I would just be like lost. Like I'm already nervous about my future like what am I gonna do with my life and dude like I don't know why but this YouTube thing 
gives me like this like comfort you know like it's like okay you could probably make a little bit of money off youtube and like maybe someday it'll be enough to sustain myself honestly like am i saying that like yeah i just at the end of the day i do i do want to be a youtuber i just have to be honest with myself it's so much fun i love communicating with people i love making content i've always loved making videos so really if i would have never started this youtube thing i would be so much more just i would just boy i don't know what i'd be doing with my life guys nevertheless i'm still very nervous for my future i think that's kind of everybody though the other day i literally this I went to a guy for life advice because he sounded older than me. He was like, no, I'm only 16, dude. I was like, oh, okay, well then. <laughs> I'm actually ended up being older than him. But yeah, uh, where am I going to be in a year? We'll find out. That's why we have the podcast. But yeah, for sure, dude, the podcast is lit. I'm going to start bringing guests back on for sure, guys, if you guys want to be on. I had a lot of people. Like, the thing about me is I always tell people. Like, a lot of people have asked me to play, like, a video games with them, like a Minecraft game or a Roblox game. They've asked to come on the podcast. And the thing about me is I'll get you in there. But like I said, I'll get you. I don't know when I'll get you in there. Like, I'm kind of a big procrastinator. For me, I'll get it done. If I keep my word, I'll get it done. It just takes a lot of time. And, yeah, so I plan on getting a lot of guests on eventually because, honestly, then it'll benefit you guys. If you guys will come back in a few years to look at the podcast you were on. And I just love giving people a platform. God dang it. Why? <laughs> my nose is like runny. I like giving people a platform to speak on because at the end of the day, everybody likes to voice their opinions and have other people hear what they have to say, which is why I love talking to people in Discord. And yeah, to bring people on a, on a, on a podcast here and there, they can say what they want and yeah, we can vibe and it's a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, for sure going to be bringing guests back for sure, dude. But it feels great to just finally get back into the swing of doing these things. I remember, I remember back when I started doing them, like I said, I needed so many notes just to get them done, but now we're just chilling. I'm just going off I'm like whatever comes up in my mind I just start talking about like literally like this PS4 controller design right here I love this PS4 controller design versus the Xbox one honestly I don't know which one's better I feel like the PS4 might be a little better I don't know they're both about the same but the thing is the PS3 controller was absolutely awful that thing was just a disgrace the PS3 controller the like thumbstick deals it was way too small it was the most uncomfortable controller ever it was absolutely terrible it was an awful awful controller for sure that's that really ruined the PS3 for me the PS3 was a bad console I think but I think it might have still outsold the Xbox. But uh, yeah, if you guys are wondering why I'm wearing such nice clothes, I just got back from church. And uh, I think I'm going to have to go pick up my uh, mom and Gibbs here soon. Like really soon, honestly. So they might give me a call here. I might have to leave the podcast and come back. I don't really know. I'm going to have to head out soon. But uh, yeah, dude. Yeah, let's see. Where are we at in the last seven days, YouTube analytics-wise? Uh, let's see. Where's analytics at? See, like here, we'll go through the last seven days because we went through the last month. We'll go through the last seven days. All right, views in the last seven days, 3.1K. Thank you. Watch time in the last seven days, 278 hours. Subscribers in the last seven days, 23 subs in the last days. All those numbers I feel are really good. Like the views and the watch time especially. Again, the subscribers, I feel like I could be, I have more potential to bring in more subs a week, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But for sure, dude, that's crazy. Um... Obviously, I've looked up the question, like, how much money do you get per thousand views on YouTube? And it told me three to five dollars, which, again, I have no idea how accurate that is. But if that was accurate, this means I'd be making anywhere from, like, nine to fifteen dollars a week. Which, again, I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to money on YouTube. I'll have to wait to figure that out. Like I said, I'm going to try to be transparent with you guys. If and when I start making money on YouTube, they're like, dude, there are so many flies in our house. Oh, okay, I'm getting a call from my mom. I have to go pick him up from church here. I'll resume the podcast in a second, guys. All right, there we go. What's going on, everybody? I'm back. Uh, I guess for you guys, that was like a two-second cut right there. But for me, that was like a, a five- to ten-minute drive around town. But yeah, one thing I, I, for, I completely forgot what I was talking about before this, by the way. But one thing I just realized is like, bro, okay, I was talk I was just like, I just, okay, I went to pick up my little brother and my mom. And like, all we did the whole time was like complain. Like, my brother and I, we just argued with each other. Just don't argue with your siblings, man. I don't know how much of it's in good fun. But honestly, at the end of the day, me and Gibbs, we only got like an hour left of just spending like hanging out with each other like every day every other day so we gotta enjoy that honestly it's just it's not well spent just sitting there yelling at each other that's something i gotta obviously work on is just not starting fights with my little brother all the time i mean some of it's in good fun but other than that i don't really know i don't know so anyways i don't know i just thought about that while driving home all we ever do is argue we don't have that much time we should just enjoy it honestly like one thing we like doing is watching this netflix show about restoring cars first of all because we know like nothing not not a whole lot about cars not nothing we don't know that much about cars so we like when they're just like bringing up all the specs and stuff going into depth on all the numbers like a 327 v8 edelbach carburetor and that one over there we just find that hilarious because like half the time we don't really know what they're talking about but yeah anyways just just uh enjoy your time with your siblings and everyone else man you don't know for all i know i could die tomorrow gives us gives us solo gives could die tomorrow it's like dude life is so uncertain life is so fragile man you never know what's gonna happen it's kind of scary, honestly, at the end of the day, that, like, life's a game. No one's going to win. 
everyone at the end of the day is okay there i'm gonna kill this fly i almost got him at the end of the day death wins so anyways uh yeah that was dark but uh just thought about that okay what was i gonna say um i just had this idea while i was driving around i kind of just walked in my room and had this idea different platforms for the podcast so um uh, let's see Currently, this podcast is only available on YouTube right now. And I know that's very not convenient to only have a podcast on YouTube. Because obviously, to run it, if you don't have like that YouTube Red or whatever it's called, the good YouTube version, you have to have the app open. And you're obviously, you're wasting battery if you do that, a lot of battery. Whereas if I had it on like Apple Podcasts or Anchor, I think, is a podcast app, then you could just like play it with your phone, shut off. And I, th- I think I should do that someday, honestly. Like, if I start making money from YouTube, I'll probably put the podcast on Apple Podcasts because I'm sure I know I know it'll cost money to put it on the on the uh, on Apple Podcasts because I did make an app on on the App Store before and it cost a hundred dollars a month to have a membership or whatever to put your apps on there. Uh, by the way, yeah, dude, making games like I did make an app in like eighth grade. Uh, I didn't really code. I kind of used a cheating software that kind of coded it for me. But dude, that was really fun. I would. I would consider remaking a game someday, dude. I've recently, throughout this week, just, like, talked about all... The, like, I've just been thinking about all the things I want to do with my life. And the list is just, like... It's so extensive, there's no way I'm going to be able to do all of it. Like, I want to, like, make a game. I want to... I want to start... I want to start, like, a... Uh, what, what would I call it? Like, a media... A, like, a, a news, like, website or something that's not biased. I don't know if that's... Because I see that as, like, not being a thing anymore. I just hate our news media so much it's one of, i think it's one of the biggest embarrassments of america is our news media honestly it's awful if i could start a website that's just balanced good stuff that'd be cool i don't know if i'm ever gonna do that i want to make an app i want to make a game or something sometime i've been like yo am i gonna make music someday <laughs> every everybody whoever becomes a big youtuber i'm not saying i'm gonna become a big youtuber but if i do am i gonna end up making a song because literally every big youtuber feels the need to make music and i feel like if i were gonna make music i wouldn't make rap i would actually try to like make decent songs that people can vibe to because i've never been a big fan of like this like rapping does not take that much talent if you have the technology available you to like auto-tune everything and people to just write your lyrics for you it's it's not that much talent everybody can everybody can speak quickly honestly i think and it's rap to me it's more about like the lyrics the lyricism like that's why like eminem he's definitely my favorite rapper because as far as i'm aware he writes like dang near everything and he just like his rhymes are so intelligent man it's crazy whereas you have like these mumble rappers nowadays now i just i really have just become disconnected with the rap community i just think the culture is just like it's it's not good as a collective for this for society that like the stuff people rap about and all that but you know actually i think it's terrible honestly at the end of the day like wop like wop like what you can't tell me like yes women are not sex objects wop and then yeah we give you wop it's just bro our culture is so messed up honestly at the end of the day it's like it's actually terrible but uh, bro we can get into that some other time i'm sure let's see the thing is i literally went on that trip to go pick my parents up and or my gibbs and my mom and take them home and now like kind of forgot what i was talking about i think i i think i had a good episode going you know like i said every single week it's kind of difficult to find new stuff to talk about which is why i think it's gonna the show's gonna get really repetitive but again at the end of the day i'm gonna be looking back on these and i'm gonna be like dang these are cool so uh yeah let's see what do we got um xbox so the new Xbox comes out in November. The new Call of Duty comes out in November. The election happens in November. Oh my God, guys! November is gonna be a huge month. Oh my November. I think basketball. Does basketball start in December? No, basketball starts in December or November. I think basketball starts in November. No, I don't know. No, maybe it's December. I don't know. Basketball starts around that time, guys. Life is gonna get so busy coming up here. There's so much stuff going on. So many big events, dude. Like I said earlier, man. Those holidays gonna be such a good time. Discord's popping right now. Appreciate that. Yo, it's going to be, how am I going to be able to handle that? Like I said, the thing is, the good thing is, I'm starting to get back into the swing of things. Like, I'm starting to get back into the swing of things about uploading a video or a live stream, like, every other day at least. Like, okay, I'm going to look in the last week. Like, what have I done in the last week in terms of uploads? My goal right now is to get one well-edited video up a week and one other video that's not so well-edited, but at least two videos a week, at least two live streams a week, and a podcast. So that's five videos a week. Looking at this last week, it looks like we had 13 hours ago. I did two streams yesterday. Okay, that's good. I like that. They performed really well. I uploaded a video at, uh, two days ago on Modern Warfare. Didn't perform very good, but it was a for to me it was a well edited video, and I think some people enjoyed it. So we'll take it. Uh, before that, I did another stream, and then the day before that, I did a uh, reaction video. Which again, reaction videos not a whole lot of work goes into those. But uh, yeah, it didn't perform good. But again, like I didn't edit that video at all. The thing that really just kind of saddens me is the Modern Warfare performance. Like it obviously has more time to perform. It's only been a day, 
But right now it's very much not on par with the other videos I've made, which is kind of worrying me when I look at it from a creative perspective, because you guys have been telling me to like live stream more. On Discord, people have been like, yo, you should live stream more. And I, I really enjoy live streaming. I still can't answer this question. If I wanted to only do live streams or videos, which one do I want to do? Like right now I'm leaning towards live streams just because live streams have been so much fun. They've been performing so well and not videos because the videos have not been performing so well as opposed to like a month ago. And uh, yeah, I told the people that like, I don't want to just be known as a streamer. I really, really enjoy live streaming to you guys. Again, I don't even think I'm that good of a streamer. Like I rewatch my streams sometimes. They're laggy. I'm just like not good con not good quality but hey as long as you guys are enjoying them that's awesome and when it comes to videos i look at my videos and my videos are a lot like higher quality obviously to me i think i think they're like my streams are not good compared to other people but then like my videos compared to other people i think are pretty like are pretty good and not sorry to say i'm just the best thing ever but i think they're pretty good so i really do hope someday that the videos start performing better which i think again i think it depends what the video is on like the next vlog i make i'm sure is probably going to perform good because everybody can relate to a vlog whereas not everybody can relate to like a modern warfare funny moments but uh yeah so for sure so we'll see how that goes like i said i'm a little worried about the videos because i don't i feel like videos <sighs> videos also help me get a better relationship with the viewers not just live streams because a lot of live streams people will just hop by say what's up and then leave whereas in videos you know they'll stick around they'll comment and like they'll watch the whole video it's a little it's a little better honestly i think it's great there's literally a fly right in front of the camera you might have saw that. god i probably said it 15 times but our house is just invaded with flies keep the door open that that's what happens but uh, yeah so a decent balance right now i'm trying to do maybe 60 40 live streams the, kind of more 50 50 but probably 60 40 live streams like so the live streams have been a lot of fun but if we go back to like how the podcast perform last week? It has 29 likes. Yeah, that's good. I'd say 30 likes for a podcast is the goal. 50 likes for like a well-edited video and like 40 likes for a live stream are my current goals with my channel. I think that's where I'm at. But this Watch Mojo reaction video performed so well, dude. Like I reacted to a Watch Mojo Call of Duty Zombies video. And the thing is, it might be the title because it's called Watch Mojo Must Be Stopped. Nowhere in there did I mention Call of Duty, I guess. I don't that's not really clickbait, but it has almost 50 likes and it has 241 views. That's awesome. Like that if that if the Modern Warfare video would have performed like that, I would be very happy. It's got 60 comments and it's just awesome. And yeah, people watched it all the way through. It was a lot of fun. It was kind of a fun little bit video to make there. And then obviously I make Minecraft Ooh, Minecraft Toro videos. Okay, so Minecraft Toro videos are just for those, I'd probably like 30 likes on average. Uh, yeah, but like obviously they have the potential to get a lot more views and stuff. And they could blow up in like five months like some of mine are already. Discord memes too I uploaded two weeks ago about. It has 43 likes. See, that's just a little shy. Like I said, 50 likes is the goal. That's not good. That, or that's not bad. I'll take that. It has 250 views. That's a good performance video. Cold War is here. Yeah, that has 200 views. It's got 26 likes. Okay, that's not very good, but... See guys, like these videos are just worrying me. But then, then we get to the 2020 Summer Rewind vlog. 366 views and 71 likes, obviously. And that's why vlogs are fun to make. But the thing about vlogs is they're the hardest videos to get content for. Because usually my vlogs are recorded over several days. So I kind of forgot what I recorded the uh, date. Honestly, no. Sometimes they're recorded over several weeks. Sometimes months. But uh, So sometimes I'll forget what I said in the last clip. And I'll repeat myself and stuff. And that fly. And you, God dang it. You video, sir. Leave. Leave. But yeah, so vlogs are probably the most fun to make and the most well received but the hardest uh, to get footage for like video game videos are easy to get footage for also hard to make but not as well received minecraft tour videos are very easy to make but very well but very much not well received i would say some of them are and uh let's see what other video live streams are very easy to make and well received so at the end of the day if you look at it obviously live streams would be the best option but no i just wanna i want to stay true to my uh not going to become a sellout, all right? I'm going to stay true to what I've always said. I like making videos, and I like making live streams, and I like making a balance of those because I think my videos are kind of more what sets me apart than my live streams because my live streams are nothing impressive. But, hey, if you guys are enjoying them, I'll take it. That's awesome to hear. And it's been a lot of fun with the live streams these last couple days, which is why I'm trying to grind it out. See, now this is where I'm going to have to face this problem here because on Wednesday, I'm sure I'll be out in the field, so I might get home at like 7 or 8, and then I'll have to live stream later. And not as many people might show up, which is unfortunate. I apologize to the UK people. It's so unfortunate how time zones work. So basically in the UK, people are six hours ahead of us. So I'll, I'll sometimes stream at like 7 p.m. my time because it's the best time. And that's at like 1 or 2 a.m. for them. So they can't make it because they have school now. Even though half the time, UK people do make it. I swear UK people do not sleep. I was talking to a guy from the UK the other day. And it was 5 a.m. for him. And he was still up. He wasn't asleep. And I was like, like, what? Do you guys ever sleep? And he was like, nope. Got nothing better to do. That's crazy, guys. I legit think that nobody from the UK sleeps, but hey. Besides Xbox, Ben. Ben, you get good sleep. You, good for you. But, like, nobody else does, man. Like, nobody else does. It's crazy. And, I don't know. That's probably... That's another thing, social media. I feel like it just... 
sleep deprives us at the end of the day because he was on discord we're always so busy with electronics and stuff it sleep deprives us. i think there's a lot of problems with our culture honestly at the end of the day but you know i don't know i just <laughs> okay uh let's see yeah um i got a new haircut i'm nothing special with my hair guys i got no i just got nothing i just i just shave it all off you know just shave it off man uh, my hair was getting so long. It was actually like the longest it's been in a long time there for, I didn't shave it in like a couple months and it was, it was really long, but now it's shaved back down and yeah, we're chilling with short hair now. We got to grow it back and it should be grown back by about the time basketball starts. So that's good. And yo, basketball season, what are we going to do this basketball season? We going to state, yo, growing up, my grade has always been the grade everyone's hyping up. Like we're just, we got the best athletes. Uh, and we were always expected to like win state and football and stuff. I don't know if that's going to ever happen in football it could we got close we got to uh, run or well we got third place at state like two years in a row i think something like that but yeah we never won state football we might this year probably not though and uh like uh state basketball we also got a chance because our people that we play are terrible honestly there's nothing special we have a chance to go to state and it's like always been our dream since i've started playing basketball in like second first 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 second grade maybe i played with these guys and if we could go to state and have our oh dude i just realized assuming that the, that the coronavirus doesn't uh, doesn't cancel our season, man. Because in my county right now, we have our highest numbers ever, and we're uh, still in person. And now when I say highest numbers ever, I'm from a very small county, but we don't have that many people. We get like, uh, what do we have, like 70 cases? It's probably a lot higher now, but uh, like 70-ish cases, maybe 100. And we get like eight people dying in my state a day, which is the most we've ever had. Not a day, it's usually like zero to eight no, it's usually like one or two a day, but we recently had eight people. So for me, the coronavirus numbers are the highest. So honestly, we locked down all of April, everything until now. And then, yeah, now we're opening back up and like, yeah, the numbers are going up a little bit, but uh, yeah, it's nothing crazy, I guess. It's not too bad. We'll see what comes of it, I guess. I guess my ba I'm prepared for my, my basketball season to get canceled. Like I'm just ready for the worst. I've accepted that at this point. Oh my God, dude, I like Favorite sports has got to be, okay, golf at number one. Yeah, objectively speaking, golf is the best sport ever. Just because you can play it forever, and it's just, it's new course every time. It's the most relaxing. It's just the most beautiful sport. It, golf is best objectively. Subject, I like basketball a little bit more, I guess, because the crowds, if there's a crowd, you get a lot more hype. It's a lot more fun to get, get hyped up. You don't get as hyped up in golf. So, yeah, it's just, basketball is the best. Football, I don't like, and then I, I'm also in track. And track and field's all right. It's nowhere up near the top, though, because nobody likes running. The only reason people go out for track is just to talk with people, honestly. Running is not fun. So, yeah, that's where we're at with sports. Is my season going to get canceled? I guess we'll find out. But if I come back and listen to this, my projections right now, my senior year, we're going to state. We are going to state. We always have been hyped up, projected to go to state. The problem with our uh, school is that we have, like, not the best coaches. I've had three coaches in my four years of high school basketball. So our, our sports programs are not that good. And there's this town like 30 minutes away. Their sports programs are just great. They just do everything right. And I'm, I, of course, our boomer parents are just like, oh, our school is just terrible. Because we're kind of the progressive school in the area. We try out all the new stuff. Like we have a new scheduling system. And all of our parents are just boomers. They're like, oh, this is terrible. We can't change anything. And it's just funny because there's the school 30 minutes away that does it the old-fashioned way. And they're really better than us at everything, honestly. But <laughs> So, yeah, it's it's interesting to see that. What else am I going to do senior year? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out for golf this spring, I think. I'm going to go out for golf. And, yeah, me and the boys, we're thinking we can maybe stack a golf team here. We're thinking. So hopefully that happens. That'd be really neat. And am I going to go out for track at the same time? Honestly, by that time of the year, I'm going to be in my, my last, like, four months of school. I'm going to go out for golf and track. I don't care. if Like, if you go out for golf and track, you're going to be missing, like, every day of school. But I don't really care, man. It's senior year. You just got to go out for sports and enjoy it what you can, man, for sure. Because after that, I'm done with basketball for the rest of my life, being in an organized a very well organized high school, you know what I'm talking about. I'm done with that for the rest of my life, which is unfortunate, but uh, that went quick, dude. Dang. Wow. Okay. Anyways, done with that. Golf. I'm gonna be able to golf for the rest of my life. Track and field. I'm done with track forever, which isn't a bad thing to say. I'd be okay with being done with track. I think. But uh, there's just something crazy. If you guys have ever been out for track and field, while you're running and people cheering you on, it's just like it's so it hurts so much, dude. Running is awful. I ran the two mile once. Okay, I've ran it more than once, actually, because I'm a long distance. I've run the mile, two mile, the 800. It's just a terrible experience for me, honestly. And I, hey, you know, the cross-country runners might get made fun of on TikTok a lot, but you got to respect that. You got to respect the cross-country running for sure. For sure, dude, for sure. All right, Um, right, let's see. Yeah, I think I had a good roll of steam going earlier today before I left the uh, left the episode to go pick my parents up. And we are now, I think, I think we're about 40 minutes in, 45-ish minutes. I don't really know since this is down in two parts. 
So, uh, let's see. What do we got? What do we got here? Should we go for goals for the end of the year with the YouTube channel? I want 2K by the end of the year, I think. 2,000 subs by the end of the year. At 2, 2K, I might... Like, you guys have been asking for, like, merch, like a few people have. I think merchandise might be coming at about 2K-ish, which I know isn't that many people. I wouldn't be able to sell that much merch. But uh, I might make some. Like, it's good to start learning how to do that stuff early, I think. And, like, my friends have also been talking a lot about that at school. And... Dang it. And like, obviously I wouldn't sell my merch for that much, but obviously I have to make a profit because at the end of the day, it's a business. You want to make money with the business, but I wouldn't even sell my shirts for that much. They won't be that expensive. It'd be some nice little cheap Smitty merch. And I think, I don't know, for me, I feel like there's going to be a lot of work involved in that, but I don't know. We're just going to make some dope designs and hopefully you guys are interested in it. And yeah, the goal is to not make merch that people will make fun of you for wearing like Logan Paul merch or something or uh, Morgs merch. I don't know if he's been, he probably has merch. So yeah, that's the goal with that. But merch, I hope someday. That'd be absolutely crazy. Imagine I'm just walking around. I run into somebody wearing my merch. Mind blown, dude. That'd be absolutely insane. And like you guys have been talking about doing like meetups or something. Like dude, a fan meetup. Someday would also be insane. I can't even just comprehend that. Like people want to come talk to me. All right, cool. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy though. That's crazy. And yeah, the, see the problem is I live in like North Dakota, which nobody lives in North Dakota. So everybody who watches this is... I wonder if anybody who ever watches this is from North Dakota, like not like my town, but like some other part of North Dakota. And I just don't know them. That'd be sweet if somebody from North Dakota found my content because then I could actually probably meet up with them. But you know, it is what it is. And uh, that's where we're at, man. That's where we're at. We're really trying to make, we're really trying to turn this channel, this hobby that I've had forever into more of a business. And hopefully, hopefully I'm successful with that. Like I've said, I've always had this vision of running like a successful YouTube channel. And I really think we have a great foundation to start that right now because like I said, I feel like we have like one of the best communities ever for a small YouTube channel. Like it's absolutely crazy how good our community is. And I couldn't thank you guys enough for that. The support is insane. We're just there vibing with one another. You guys are playing like Minecraft worlds with each other. It's in it's crazy. We're supporting each other's YouTube videos. I say that every time, but it's just, dude, this is like the perfect foundation ever for a small YouTube channel. And I just need to like take advantage and just grind YouTube out, man. Honestly, if I want to try to turn this into like a business and like, yeah, grow it up and it, bro, bro, it's, it's a crazy idea. But yeah, yeah, for sure, dude, for sure. I really hope that happens, honestly, running like a pretty big sized YouTube channel. That'd be, that'd be cool. That'd be a really cool concept because like I said, ever since 2013, I started out and I was like, Hey, mom, dad, can I start a YouTube channel? That'd be kind of fun. And now here I am and I have a pretty awesome YouTube channel. I think it's crazy. Still can't really get over that, but hey, uh, let's see. Was I going to talk about the, did I ever talk about the Xbox? No, I started talking about how November is going to be crazy, but like the Xbox, I think I decided guys that I'm going to get the new Xbox. I don't know if I'm going to end up getting both the consoles. I don't know. That's kind of expensive, but I think I'm going to get the new Xbox. I don't really know why, just because my, okay. Yeah, it comes down to my friends getting it. So the new Xbox series X is what I'm going to get. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to get PS fives, but at the end of the day, like the new norm is that everything's cross play. So thank you so much for Fortnite for that guys. Fortnite, although it may be just toxic, cringe, cancerous content now, at one point it brought many great foundational game mechanics and stuff like the battle passes, which some people might hate, but in Clash Clans, I love the battle pass in there. Thank you, Fortnite, for that. And also cross-compatibility, which is just the best thing ever. So it doesn't really matter if I'm PS5 or Xbox, because I can still play with you guys if you want. And yeah, I think I'm going to end up getting the Xbox. Again, because my friends in real life want to, and because they're invested in Microsoft, so we got to buy their product, you know me. You feel that? See, I don't really know... I don't really know if the console wars are even going to be a thing anymore because everything's just so identical. Like everything's going to have party chat. The controllers are going to be like similar. Can, they're going to be similarly comfortable. Like everything's just like maxing out. Like these consoles are like dang near computers because I think they can run multiple games at once now, which is insane. It's amazing how far we've come from just two generations ago with the Xbox 360. The PS3 didn't even have party chat and now here we are. Insane strides have been made. And yeah, man, the console wars are just like over. There's nothing left. Like you can just play with each other. Cross compatibility parties would be really cool. I wonder, if, I wonder if that's gonna be a thing. But yeah, like already in the Call of Duty Cold War Zombies trailer, they said they're gonna have cross compatibility zombies uh, games. That's the best thing ever, dude. That's so cool. Playing with people on PC, PS5, it's gonna be awesome. And yeah, guys, at the end of the day, I'm for sure getting the new Xbox, which I think is gonna be like 500 bucks. Which 500 bucks is not bad. Like I, they could have put it like a thousand. A thousand bucks would be very bad. That's a lot of money. Not many people could buy that. But yeah, dude, 500 for sure. I'll make that investment. And yeah, the new Xbox is the move. And okay, I know I've said this 50 million times, but these flies flying around our house, I was just, my mom left her window down on her car in the garage. There were so many flies in her, in her car. There's so many flies somehow that got in my room. They're just everywhere, man. Why fly? At least it's almost like winter. Hopefully they just like die. I wouldn't mind them dying at all. 
I wonder if PETA likes people killing flies. Like, who would actually defend a fly, man? Like, come on, dude. What do flies even do? Like, what do, they, what do flies eat? But yeah, what are we at to? I'm going to check quick, because obviously you guys can tell I'm running out of I'm running out of stuff to say. So if you want to head off the head off the uh, podcast, it's all good. I just like to make these an hour, because again, I want as much content as I can per week to see where I'm at as a YouTuber. To see how I progress, it's just so awesome. We're currently 21 minutes into this one. Okay, so we got about nine-ish minutes left in this one, I think. I think, because the last one was about 29 minutes long. So we should be, yeah, that, that equals an hour, 20, 20, 40, plus 10, 50. Yeah, so about 10 minutes left in this one, guys. Thank you all so much. If you're listening this far, you're the best, literally. You're a crazy supporter. I love you. Podcasts are a lot of fun. If you want to come on the podcast, of course, leave a comment down below. And one of these weeks, I'll probably get you on. I don't care, really. I don't really care how old you are. Like, one thing I want to do is have a podcast with Gibbs just because, like, I think it's funny how, like, high his voice is right now. And in, like, two years, his voice is going to be, like, like this. You guys have said I have, like, the voice of a 40-year-old, which is crazy. I don't really hear that. Like, I think my voice is kind of deep, but I don't think it's, like, 40 years old. Because, like, I said my birthday was in October, and you guys are, like, Smitty, turning 13, but his voice is turning 50. And I was like, dang. <laughs> Maybe that's true. I don't know. Maybe my voice does sound that old, but I don't know. Also, do you guys in the live streams to say you hate your voices? I've had people who say they don't like how their voices sound, so they won't join voice chats. Yo, come on, guys. Don't be so hard on yourself. It's just the voice. Like, come on. It's not. There's nothing to be upset or ashamed over your voice. Just join the join the party chat. Come vibe with us and among us. And don't be so... Don't be so self-conscious. Don't be so worrisome about your voice. You're good. You're good, honestly. At the end of the day, it's just it's just a voice, man. It's just vibration. Like, how does, how does sound even work? Isn't it just vocal cords vibrating that I can control somehow? Do I even know how that works? I don't know how that works. That's crazy how that works. But dang, now I just want to go look up a YouTube video on how vocal, cor- vocal cords work. That's insane. Like, just think, we're just some... We're just people sitting on a rock, and just by me making sounds, you know what I what I mean, what I'm saying. That is just a crazy concept in itself. Time is a crazy concept in itself. Like the t- like the fact that a day is 24 hours and like thousands of hours ago. Like I just time is crazy. Everything everything's crazy when you think about it. I legit life is an amazing thing, and it's crazy that here we are today, Embra. Awesome, awesome. If you guys are wondering what to do with your life, find what you're interested in and pursue that. Like I said to the one guy who was stressed out, just go for it, dude. Just go for it. All you're doing is wasting time. If you have an idea, go for that idea, dope. But make your tutorial videos. Just, just go for it, man. Just go for it, because you never know. Like, if people make fun of you for your content, who cares, man? Like, I think, obviously, bullying, like, isn't good. I think people will be like, this is why bullying should exist when they see, like, a cringy TikTok video. I wouldn't say this is why bullying should exist. I should say this is why, like, constructive criticism and stuff should exist. I kind of laugh. Like, here's the thing. If you make kind of an offensive joke and I find it funny, I'm going to laugh, right? Don't use that to cancel me in 20 years. But, like, come on, guys. Humor, comedy is supposed to make people uncomfortable. It's supposed to target people and make them uncomfortable. I think even though comedy's dying in 2020 because you can't make any jokes that'll make anybody uncomfortable or anything like that, hey man, if I hear a joke that's kind of offensive, but it's funny, I'm going to chuckle, all right? I can't stop that. That's just the inner human being who finds humor in me, and I like, I don't know, don't cancel me, but yeah, you guys are trying to get me to say the N-word in the Discord server the other day. I'll never do that. That's, that's taking it too far, but yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe someday I'll be canceled. I've already said that maybe I should start my apology video for when I, if somebody finds something to cancel me over. So I'll probably start working on my apology video. Are you guys mating? Oh my god. <sighs> Flies. By the PS4 controller too. Not here, guys. Anyways. Uh, so yeah. So I think I'm going to start my apology video, guys. Whenever I get canceled. Any bets? What am I going to get canceled for? Um, I think I have some conservative views. So I guess if someday I ever have a lot of people following my, following my YouTube channel, I'd probably get canceled for that. But yeah. I'm sure I'll get canceled someday. So guys, the apology video will be coming out whenever I get canceled. I'll be working on that for sure. And yeah. We're chilling, we're chilling. So uh, I think that's that's that. 25 minutes, 29 minutes, about six minutes left. Monetization's coming, guys. Crazy support. Everything has just been so lucky, so fortunate for me. Obviously, the coronavirus, although as terrible as it may be, it definitely helped me out with my YouTube channel because people had nothing better to do. A lot of people still don't have anything better to do because they're just sitting at home all day. So I can make content for them to enjoy and make their days a little bit better. Which is awesome. You guys have been in the live streams. You guys have been telling me like so many tough things that have happened to you this year. And I just really hope my content and the community here helps you with that. Like for real, man, for real. I just want to help make people's days better because I think that's what we need in the world. There's so much negativity. There's such like so many get swatted fly. So many people are just like, they have such high expectations for themselves. They just see all these influencers who are just perfect, perfect bodies and stuff or whatever on Instagram. And they just expect themselves to be like that, man. I'm just here to say, yo, just vibe, just do you. If you're interested in yourself, then just do that. And yeah, guys, just don't have so much stress. Just don't don't be so hard on yourself, for sure. Like, I'm very hard on myself. I expect myself. Every time I make a video, I'm like, oh, this, this kind of sucks. I got to get better at that. I got to get better at just trusting myself, being more confident in the product that I 
put on YouTube and stuff, and that'll definitely just make you better as a person. I mean, it's, it's definitely good to have expectations for yourself, but just don't set them unrealistically too high that you can't achieve them. Like, I'll... Someday I want to get back in the weight room, honestly. I'm so, like, I'm really skinny. I'm, like, six foot 160. I think that'd be awesome. But, like, some the thing is I'm, like, almost embarrassed to lift weights because all my friends just lift so much more than me. So it's, like, uh, they'll just be maxing out at, like, 225, and I'll just be over here, like, uh, doing, like, 115. And, like, ah, uh, god dang it, I just can't do it. Like, I just can't get hyper weightlifting because of that. <laughs> but anyways, that's a goal, I think, someday. So, yeah, guys, just do you. Just do you. Uh, these flies are actually going to drive me wild, so I think I'm going to end it soon here. Again... I'm a perfectionist. I'm kind of OCD. I have to get these to at least an hour. Even if it sounds like I'm stalling for the last 20 minutes, they will be an hour, an hour long for the podcast. Again, it's more content. And, you know, if one person out there is listening to this and enjoying it, that's a dub for me. That's a dub because I know at least I'm listening to it. What's up, me? But if somebody else has enjoyed it too, that's awesome because that's one other person whose day was slightly made better by the uh, podcast. And yeah, guys, uh, expect some better lighting. I'm going to get a ring light. I'm going to get maybe a PC. A PC would be so cool to get. The thing is I move out to college not that long. Dude, what I'm going to do when I go to college with the YouTube channel is so... Because I'm sure the Wi-Fi is going to be terrible. I don't know how I'm going to move everything. Am I going to get busy? It's adversity, guys. How are we going to handle adversity? My old basketball coach was all about handling adversity. He was like, you're going to face adversity out there on the basketball court. On the court. How are you going to handle it? And I'm going to handle it by uh, continuing my YouTube channel. I don't know. We'll see what happens, though. Adversity, guys. How will you handle adversity? And we'll end it with that question right there. Thank you all so much for listening to the Sminify podcast, episode number 15. So much fun, guys. Again, I'm getting back into the swing of things. I see it as the norm now to make a podcast every single week. And before I didn't, like yesterday, I was like, all right, I'm going to record a podcast tomorrow. And I know that's kind of procrastination waiting until Sunday to do it. But I'm I'm telling myself I'm going to do it and I'm finally doing it. And if I keep doing that, eventually it's just going to become natural. It's going to become easy to me. Again, that's why I'm not having as many guests on right now because... Uh, wasn't gonna say, because I don't, I haven't done this in so long. I'm kind of rusty at it, and I just wanna. We'll be talking about more deep topics later. I know right now all I do is talk about like the YouTube channel and stuff. Not nothing too deep, but uh, yeah, hopefully someday I can expand this podcast out into more deep topics. Honestly, that was the goal from the beginning, and that'll be the goal moving forward for sure. For sure, man. Um, yeah, yeah, crazy. So to the couple people who enjoy this podcast, hopefully this was a good episode. I don't know. Episode 15, though. 15 episodes. 15 hours. 16 hours, actually, to go back and look on of me talking. Crazy. It's definitely helping me grow as a person, I think. As a person. As, like, I don't know. Yeah. It's just helping me. It's just, it, it's, 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 it, 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 it's, it is relaxing. It's, it feels good to get stuff off your chest, and that's why I like to open up this podcast to you guys. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to guests coming on in the future. Hopefully, we can get some deeper topics, as always. It's been a lot of fun today, guys. Thank you all so much. We're back. Sminify podcast every single Sunday. Look forward to it, guys. Streams Wednesdays and Saturdays and videos other days. Tutorials. Channels popping. Life's great. Enjoying everything, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy your life for sure, dude. Life is so short. Just don't worry about stuff. Overcome adversity. And until the next one, guys, this has been the Sminify podcast, episode 15. If you're watching this, you're the best. I care about you guys. DM me on Discord. Join the Discord server. Y'all, have a great rest of your day. Learn how to solve a Rubik's Cube because it's just a fun little thing to do. Go golfing. Go shoot pool. Great stuff. Go find go find a club to be invested in at your school or something. That, that'd be my goal. That's my advice for like see, like in high school, man. Just find a club to be part of. Participate in as much stuff as you can and enjoy it while last because you never know when it's going to be over. Thank you all so much for listening again to episode 15. Peace out. It's been Spinny, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I salute you. Goodbye. <laughs> and that wraps it up. That's a wrap. <laughs>